I know it is a very difficult time for everybody right now. We all face the same problem, this highly contagious COVID-19. Most of us are still at home, right? isolating ourselves. Therefore, we have no choice but having our meetings virtually. We know this virtual meeting is nowhere near physical meeting. No handshaking, no clapping, so we cannot pick up energy from our audience. No hugging, forget it. No chatting, no eating, no drinking. Sorry, we cannot serve you with any drink. Yeah. But however, there are some plus points. This virtual meeting brings us together. We can easily get participants from different places, from Medan, from Jakarta, from Bandung, from different cities, even from different countries, like Malaysia, Singapore. Ho hopefully there will be some more coming, joining us yeah, from Singapore and Malaysia. We have Dr. Tariq and Wasis from Malaysia. Welcome. It's a lot easier now, yes. And most importantly, we can get speaker, great speakers easily too, like tonight. And one more thing, good about this online meeting. This is actually a secret. You can read the screen. All you have to do is hide your script. And with a bit of practice, you don't like, you are reading. Yeah. That way you don't have to spend too much time memorizing, you know, like a person like me, I cannot memorize anymore. <laughs> but this is not cheating, not cheating. This is just being efficient. I believe everybody is doing it. Now let's cut the chase. I think I'm gonna give the control to our Toastmasters of the meeting for tonight. A very interesting, very enchanting, inspiring lady. She has a great career as a manager of a garment factory. Her pastimes are traveling, reading and learning. Has been with Toastmasters for six years, six years running. Currently, she is a member of Magical Bali Toastmaster. Her motto in life, it is more important to make a consistent progress rather than aim for perfection. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give big a round of applause to Toastmaster Natalie Chahyadi. Natalie, it's all yours. Thank you, Mr. Arlan. Welcome everyone to Empire Toastmasters Club special meeting, Leadership 101, How to Inspire Others. My name is Natalie and I will be your Toastmasters of the meeting. It is my privilege to meet all of you here online via Zoom. And it is such a great opportunity for us to connect with each other and to learn how to become a better person and also a better leader. I remember when I was a small kid, one of my friends told me, Nat, you cannot become a leader. Class leader? No, because there is always one person that is born a leader. Well, I was still a small kid, so I trusted him. But after I grew up, I realized that leaders are not born, but leaders are made. And that is our theme for tonight. Leadership 101, how we can learn the fundamentals of leadership and how we can become an inspiring leaders. And tonight's meeting, it will be a special meeting because there will be no prepared speeches, there will be no speech evaluations, there will only be table topic sessions and also special education session by our distinguished guest speaker, past region advisor, this thing is Toastmasters Muhammad Arif Asahari. So the first session will consist of table topic session and also general evaluation session. And I would like to call first 
the general evaluation team to briefly introduce their role before I pass it on to the table topic master. So I would like to call the general evaluator, Toastmasters Marina Berlian. Thank you, Toastmaster of the meeting, uh, Toastmaster Natalie Cayadi. Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome uh, to Empire Toastmasters Club. May I see your virtual hands? May I see your smile? Like this? <laughs> okay, so tonight I will be your general evaluator in this meeting. And I'm not alone. I have my tag team, timer, accounter, and grammarian. First, I would like to introduce you to my timer is Toastmaster Melita Oktanawati. Hi, good evening, fellow Toastmaster. I'm your timer today. So for those of you who are willing to be our table topic speaker, don't forget to pin my video. How to do that? You go to the gallery view and then you see my video pin me timer and you will see three dots on the top of the, or your right hand and then pin my video, right? Cool. If you have a difficulties in doing that, please put in the chat room and we will get you how to, uh, how to solve it out. Okay, as a double topic speaker, you will only have two minutes, 30 seconds. I will show you the uh, green background if it reads one minute, one minute and 30 seconds for yellow background, red background for two minutes, and you have 30 seconds to wrap up your speech. All right, that's it for me. Back to you, Marlena. Thank you, our timer, Toastmaster Melita. So make sure for the whole session on table topic session, if you participate in this session, make sure you look on the timer. So you will see Melita face on the table topic session the whole time. <laughs> okay, next we have our accounter. Please welcome Toastmaster Griselda. Hello everyone. So my so I'm Griselda from the Empire Kevel Toastmasters Club. And I'd first like to say thank you for inviting us Kevel Toastmasters here. And now I will begin explaining my role. So as the ah counter, what I will essentially be doing is counting your filler words, pause fillers, crutch words, and etc. So anything that falls under the, under the classification of these sorts of things, I will be recording. And at the same time, I will also at the very end tell you uh, which words that you use the most as a crutch word. And give and possibly give you suggestions on how to improve, and that's basically all that I'm doing for today. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Griselda, or we can say you're the cat woman here, right? Okay, next we have our grammarian who just celebrated his wedding anniversary. I saw it on Instagram. Toastmaster Benjamin Whitaker. All right. Thank you, Toastmaster Marina and fellow Toastmasters and guests. My name is Benjamin Whitaker. I'm from Magical Bali Toastmasters. And as a grammarian, it's my responsibility to pay close attention to everything you guys are going to say and listen carefully to all the language uses, which I didn't do a very good job when I was a kid. So hopefully as an adult, I do a much better job. But I'll be taking note of improp uh, improper language, as well as outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. Also, I'll be introducing the word of the day to go with our theme, which is inspire. Now, from a quote, now the definition of inspire, real quick, is to fill someone with urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. And a good usage to go with our theme from Japanese philosopher Daisaku Ikeda. People who cease to grow can't inspire others. Leadership begins with challenging oneself. So you'll hear from me later in the meeting. Back to you, GE. Thank you. Thank you, our grammarian, Toastmaster Benjamin Whitaker. And last but not least, I would like to introduce you to our ballot counter, Toastmaster Denis Surya. Hello, everyone. 
MS Ballot Counter here. And as you know, everyone likes to be celebrated if they have this best. So we ha will have voting session after uh, the, the speaker. And it's for the table topic. So everyone do your best in table topic and hope to win for the best table topic. Okay, back to GE. Thank you, Taskmaster Denis Surya. So, at the end of the table topic session, you will vote who's your favorite table topic speaker because today we will have our special education event like uh, Diti Amarang Setiawan said before and mentioned before. There will be no prepared speech. So, make sure you will uh, participate in the table topic session, guys. If you are a new member, or first timer here in Empire Toastmasters Club meeting. Welcome. I will serve you as your general evaluator, or maybe we can say as your supervisor in this online meeting. So back to you, Toastmaster of the meeting, Natalie Cahyadi. Thank you, general evaluators, uh, Toastmasters Marina for such a positive and encouraging uh, general evaluation. Now I would like to call upon our table topic masters, distinguished Toastmasters Pipit Andriani, who recently got her well deserved distinguished Toastmasters award and um, to start her session. Toastmasters Pipit, distinguished Toastmaster Pipit, are you ready? Ready. All right, time is yours. Please Thank give you. her a very warm welcome. Distinguished Toastmasters Pipit Andriani. Thank you, Toastmaster of the meeting, Natalie. Thank you everyone for coming here. I'm so happy that we have quite a lot of participants actually right now, 41. And it's in our best interest to have the best possible leaders during this trying time. So a lot of people want to learn something new about leadership and we are here, so I'm really happy. But this is not the educational session yet. This is still table topic session. And me as the table topic master, my main job is to make your life harder so I will put some of you in the spot, give you a question or a quote, and then you have to speak in front of people who you may or may not know, and then do well with it. But this is not a funeral, so I want everybody to smile first before we start this session. Smile, everyone. I'm looking at you in the monitor. All right, thank you. Now. I want to make sure every club has a chance to speak here. So I want to start somebody from, somebody who paved the way for the rise of the Empire Club. So everyone from Empire Club, can you raise your hands? I will choose you. Okay, IQ did it first. So IQ will get the first question. All right. Wow. Thank you for the compliment with the cover here. So the question for IQ, what would you do if you're a leader and your members always fight with each other? Every meeting looks like a shouting match. IQ, time's yours. Thank you for the nice question. If I was a leader, when my members, they shout each other, they are angry to each other. So I think the leader, we have to guide them, show them the way how to, as a leader, we, we have to solve the problem. We have to, how to make our members, they can walk to each other, they can, uh, know how to communicate each other. Aq, you accidentally unmute uh, mute yourself. Yeah. Yeah. As a leader, our job, our duty is to make everything calm down. When our member, they fight each other or even they shout each other, the leader must be there. And to guarantee that 
each of them, they have to work together, they have to coordinate each other. There's a problem, there's a way. Not to like on, on each shot, shot, but try to bring them together and sit on the table and then talk. What's the matter? Yeah, what's the problem? There's a problem, there's a way. And there's a way, there's a theory. As, as a leader, we have to know the best way how to find uh, the way for the member and then they can work together and then can achieve our objective, our goals in the, in the company. Sometimes it's not easy, but as a leader, this is our responsibility to put them together again. Because uh, as we know that uh, every company or even institution, there's a always, um, all, there's always uh, internal conflict. That's why we have to know about the uh, conflict management. Sometimes as a leader, we learn about the conflict management. If our team or members, they shout each other or they, they are angry to each other, yeah, we try to use this conflict management to find the solution for our members. I think that's all from me. Thank you so much for the nice question. Thank you, Akyu. So let's move city for the second question. Anyone from Jakarta, raise your hands. Anyone from Jakarta, raise your hands. Okay, I'll just choose then. Uh, Bumin, are you still with us? Bumin? Uh, oh, Harlina. Okay, Harlina got it. Sorry, sorry, oh, Bumin. Dear. I'll go to oh, Harlina maybe, maybe, first, then uh, Bumin will be. Oh. <laughs> August, okay, August, Harlina, I can do Harlina. Got it. Harlina, you, you go, okay. you go, you go. Okay, okay. All right, so Harlina. Question number two is, do you think there is such thing as a natural born leader? You think there's oh. such thing as a natural born leader? Harlina. Wow, what a question. Do I think there is uh, something like a natural born leader? Mm, maybe this is a question between nature and nurture, isn't it? What part of you is really your talent? What part of you is actually made? At first, I thought that my father was a natural born leader. I was like, oh, how can he manage these people in Antwerp for the 17th of August? You know, when we were in, uh, when we were abroad, we have the 17th of August uh, independent uh, games. And uh, our team from Antwerp in Belgium, there were uh, harbor labor workers, there were students, there were people from all walks of life. And my father was able to be the team leader and speak to all of them and uh, get them together to get the cup uh, and to win the whole game. And I was like, whoa, my father is so good. It must be from his genes. It must be from his uh, parents. And then it turned out that actually my father always became the leader when he was in high school, when he was a student. And later on, I was, then I was like, oh, Okay, so on one hand, maybe he had the genes, but on the other hand, he also uh, practiced leadership by doing. And I think that is what we are all doing in Intos. That is, I think, what we also do in Toastmasters, isn't it? So you as the table topic master, and then the, the come of the meeting. That's the great thing about Toastmasters. We can really hone our leadership skills well, maybe actually direct in our natural talent. Thank you, and back to the table topic master. Thank you, Harlina. Now, as promised, Bumin goes next. Bumin, are you ready? Please unmute the mic. Thank you. So this is the quote for Bumin. Oh, a boss has a title. A leader has the people. A boss has a title. A leader has the people. Who mean? A boss has a title. A leader has a... People. People. Well, speaking about leader, to me, there is one thing that 
I think everybody needs to learn how to learn. <laughs> you know, even you become a leader, it doesn't mean that you are on top of everybody. It doesn't mean that if you're a boss, then you don't have to learn. It doesn't mean that if you have a leader, you don't have to learn how to learn. Now, a few days ago, I was looking at this uh, University of New South Wales uh, papers, and there is a quote that says, learn how to learn. And I thought, learn how to learn. Yes, indeed, we never stop learning. We still have to learn, even though we are a leader, even though we are a boss, even though we have the title, but yet every day is a day of learning. Remember what Steve Jobs ever say? Stay hungry, stay foolish. Meaning that all in all, what a leader needs to do, not only for his title and his people, but it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for one to learn. Take, for example, in Toastmasters. I've been in Toastmasters for 18 years now. And I'm still learning. There are so many things that I think I have to learn more and more. And that's what I always share to the members. Back to you. Thank you, Bumin. I can really relate to that Steve Jobs quote, stay hungry, stay foolish, because I'm constantly hungry and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's move to Bali. Anyone from Bali? Raise your hands. Bali, Bali, Bali. Raise your hands, Bali. Oh, well, Lita wants to go. Uh, anyone else other than Lita? All right, I'll just... Uh, Kylie Vijaya, you want to go next? Oh, sure. Okay. Jaya. What's your interpretation of this illustration? What's your interpretation of this illustration? Okay, so what my interpretation of the illustration is, uh, the, uh, it highlights the difference of a boss and a leader. A boss is someone who commands other people, his, his underlings, to do something to help the boss, while the boss doesn't do anything. And uh, the boss benefits for it by, from it, but his underlings doesn't really benefit from it. Well, on the other, on the other hand, the leader, uh, the leader helps his uh, the leader helps his team move to the goal that they have. The leader works together with his team, and he, even though he has maybe a higher authority than them, he doesn't abuse it or uh, he uses his authority well. He uses it to lead them, and not only to tell them to do stuff such as like uh, maybe a boss will tell them to do this and this and this, and the boss just uh, lace, uh, play games or something like that. Uh, meanwhile, a leader will, uh, will also give them things to do, but with cartons. Uh, yeah, th that's all for my speech. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. So now I will open the floor for anyone who like to volunteer. Can you please raise your hands if you want to volunteer as the next speaker? Kevin, would you know? Okay. And then I'll open it. Don't worry, we still have a few more questions. Kevin. People say, be a leader. Don't be a follower. Is it possible for people to be leaders? Thank you Kevin. for the question there. Yes. Um, so be a leader, but don't be a follower. All leaders, they start being a follower. They need to know how a leader inspires, how a leader has a vision. 
he has a target. He cares about the people who follows him. He works towards the common goals. He cares about the growth of the people who is under him. Now, a leader do inspires because when he's not around, people who works under him feels that he is a part of value. He values his people that when, he's, when he is not around, he feels that he is his family, that his contribution, his, his attention, and of course he cares for his, uh, his whole team, creates the vision that, that uh, all the team in, uh, envision in the long run basically i guess that that would be all for me thank you kevin you. so i i thought i saw pak rudy raise his hand earlier so pak rudy will mm -hmm. be the next speaker all right pak rudy are you ready yes okay okay I'm re yes i'm rudy. ready yes they who cannot be good followers cannot be good leaders they who cannot be good followers cannot be good leaders. Pak Rudy. Yes, <clears throat> of course, I agree with that statement because uh, to be a leader is not easy. Of course, we need to learn something to be a follower first. How the leader do and what we do, we learn something from experience, from experience, and then uh, step by step, we become a leader. To be a leader is not easy. Of course, everyone knows we must be humble. We must be uh, honest, must be trusted to everyone. And also, if you want to do something, that is some, a model to everyone as a leader. That is, we need to learn something. Even as a follower, we learn how the leader do first, and then we try to learn with the other also. To become a follower, that we learn as everything or experience that from each other. From each other, we learn more, and then we get more experience how they did to become a good leader. To become a good leader, of course, that is, we must do everything to be a role model to everyone, let the people know that is not re really easy to be a leader. Of course, leader must be example for everyone, for the follower, also for everyone who learn in leadership and also to be a leader. Yes, back to you. Thank you, Parudi. I know probably it's a bit too late to remind you guys, the word of the day is inspire. Try to squeeze that, squeeze that in, in your speech, okay? All right, so Burona raised her hand earlier. Burona, do you wanna go next? Yeah. All right. Burona. What do you think is the biggest mistake a leader can make? What do you think is the biggest mistake a leader can make? Rona. Being a leader would require you to be humble. But a lot of leaders want to be served and feel that they are the boss. I think the biggest mistake that a leader make is to, they do not listen. Because a lot of time, a leader make a decision without consulting or without listening to those people who, who supported him. He feels that he has to make decision on his own. I agree that at one point, you have to basically to make the decision <clears throat> at the end. But first, I would suggest, or it's better to listen to those people, especially those people who have who done the work, 
And those people who have the experience and the expertise, and after you listen, argue about the cons, the pro, etc., then you make the decision. So I think the biggest mistake for a leader is not listening. Listening is a very important skill which a lot of the leaders do not have. So I would suggest to learn to listen to, before you make a decision. Back to Tom. Thank you, Corona. So I saw Janet also wanted to volunteer. Are you still wanting to volunteer? Yes. <laughs> okay. So Janet, this is your question. Interesting. What would you do if you're a leader and your members like to talk about each other behind their back? Oh, there's a question mark here, sorry. What would you do if you're a leader and your members like to talk about each other behind their back? Janet. Um, wait, uh, I have a question about the question. Yes. Um, so like the members are talking about like other members or about the leader? About each other. So the members? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You included. Oh. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I feel like that kind of thing happens in literally every situation. Even if you're like in a really structured company, I'm pretty sure you have like, it, let's say you're the leader or the boss of some, some part of a company or maybe even the whole company. I'm pretty sure there are some employees that tend to talk about you behind your back to other people in the company because they just simply don't like you. Well, there's really like, that's just something natural because I'm pretty sure nobody in this world can manage to satisfy every single person in the world or even in their own company or in their family. I'm pretty sure there is also someone in your family that doesn't like you. But we should encourage this kind of thing even though it is mostly normalized to most people in a lot of cultures around the world. I feel like everyone, even though you don't like each other, you shouldn't talk about them behind their back because they also might have some opinions that are better for anyone's future in the kind of group. So let's say in a company setting, maybe your coworker that you don't like actually has some opinions for the company that might also improve your life. So I don't think there's a reason here to start hating each other just because of your own personal feelings. So what I would do to encourage this kind of behavior to not encourage talking about each other on their back is let's say well this is still the company setting i would still i would make small meetings that, that um, allow the employees to voice out their opinions more often about what they should do to improve the company as a whole because that way you would get to know each other better and by knowing each other better you guys might start from acquaintances and become friends or maybe even good friends in the company that tend to go out after work together to go eat at a restaurant after work and all of that. So by holding those meetings that has those opinion sharing sessions, I believe that they would make more harmony in the company. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. So we will reach the last speaker of this table topic session. And then I will use my prerogative right to choose the next speaker because this person is somebody who will be the, one of the ADs, okay? He just got elected, uh, just got installed yesterday. This person is very disciplined. If you can imagine in the morning, he's the one waking up his alarm, not the alarm waking him up, okay? So I would like to call Poor to answer the next questions. This is a test for you, Poor. Uh, okay. What movie or story can teach you a good lesson about leadership, other than The Lion King and Game of Thrones? <laughs> One, two, <laughs> three, go. Hmm. Okay. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. So, speaking of the movie that can and teach us about leadership. Actually, I cannot find any of that movie. I, I cannot think about that right now because I think leadership is about experience. It's not about uh, seeing the other story or 
seeing other experience. You need to learn it by yourself. You need to uh, build from yourself. So when we are talking about the leadership, I think we will make a lot of mistakes. And from that mistake, we will we will learn some. And I think uh, when we want to really, it really help us when you really want to learn from your experience. So no matter how good the reader are, they already made many mistakes. And the thing that really inspired me to be a reader is making a lot of mistakes. But it's not only about making a lot of mistakes, but learning from that mistake. So we wouldn't uh, fall to the same mistake, mistake twice. I think that's all for me. Back to Pipi. Thank you, Poor. It's okay to make a lot of mistakes. Just don't blame others for that, okay? We are watching you. <laughs> all right. So we have a lot of speakers already as uh, table topic. Uh, in this topic table topic session, I would like to call our timer to announce who is eligible and who is not. All right. So all eligible except uh, Aquin. The time is two minutes thirty seven seconds. So, but however, good job, Aquin. So, back to you. Keep it. Thank you, Lita. And Lita has been. She's the winner of the comment section. Lita always greets everyone here. So give a big applause to Lita. She's doing an extra job as a guest greeter and fan. All right, so then we will post the polling and then we will also go to a break. And Natalie, do you want to announce how long we have the break and when we should come back? Okay. Uh, we will have a general evaluation session first before the break. Okay, so uh, to revise a little bit. So thank you everyone for your participation in the table topic session. And thank you Pipe, those table topic masters for those thought provoking and also interesting questions. It's sort of like teasing my brain and also you know, my feeling about leadership. So thank you for that. And um, as the timer already announced, there are eight people eligible. So I would like to ask the ballot counter. Mr. Danny Surya, those wants to Danny Surya to launch the poll so everyone can vote and we will announce the winner at the end of today's session. So you can just click and submit. Yes, I can see it moving. So we will give you another 15 seconds. Is anyone already vote or? Yes, yeah, error. I will rerun. It appeared and it disappeared on my screen. It came up and then went away before I could vote. Okay. Um. Sorry. Uh. Toastmasters Denny, would you mind to relaunch the poll? I think there is like some technical problem. Yeah, I will uh, relaunch after this. Uh, probably uh after the uh general. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's here. Okay. Okay. It's, it's ready. Here. All right. Okay. Thank you. Do we have to revote or so yeah, I don't vote. Please. Yeah, vote. Vote. You can change your mind too, Burana, if you yeah. show somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can change your mind. There's some problem. <laughs> yes, I can see already 26 people, 30 people voted and still waiting for another 10. We'll give you another 10 seconds before we close the poll. So we just need another five people to vote. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna close the poll in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, everyone. 
Okay, so we will announce the winner at the end of the session and you will get an online certificate from us. All right, now I'd like to ask the general evaluators, uh, this, uh, Toastmasters Marina, are you ready to introduce your team back and give the report? Sure, Toastmaster of the meeting, Natalie Cahyadi. So back again with me, everyone. Now it's time for me to introduce you to my team so we can hear all the evaluation session. First, I would like to call the timer, all eligible, right? So now it's time for the uh, counter. A counter, please welcome Toastmaster Griselda. Yeah, hi again, everyone. So now I'll be telling you guys the results from uh, the uh, counter report. And I'd like to start with the first speaker, Mr. Akuing. Is that how I pronounce your name? <laughs> so you, you said uh, filler words such as a, uh, um, or er uh, four times. You did not use any crutch words, which is excellent. Uh, you repeated a sentence or a phrase six times. You stuttered and you stuttered once. However, that was, I believe, an overall very good speech that covered the topic of the question well. And the second speaker, Miss Harlina, I think. Is that how I spell her name? I'm sorry. So, you used filler words such as a, um, and er five times. You used crutch words five times. And I didn't actually write down a specific crutch word that you used because you used various crutch words multiple times. And, uh, and you had a single repeat of a sentence. Overall, it was a good speech, but I think that you'd be able to spice up that speech even more if you put some sort of metaphor or something similar in it. Uh, now, speaker three, Mian, you used the filler word once, and that was the entire thing that I have for your report. So that was an excellent speech, and it covered the topic well as well. Now, speaker four, Kaylee, you used filler words seven times, and you repeated a sentence or a phrase three times. However, overall, you didn't really have any crutch words that you used, and there were also, no pauses. So I think that, honestly, all you need to do is try not to be so nervous next time, yeah? And the next one is speaker five, Kevin. So you had three pauses throughout your speech. However, overall, you didn't actually have that many issues because you only used filler words such as ah, um, and er two times. You only stuttered once and you used the pause filler once which was just you clicking your tongue or making some other varied noise. Overall, I think it was an excellent speech already. The only thing I'd ask you to, to improve on is maybe you should see what's causing the pauses. And that's about it. And speaker six, Ruti. So you used filler words three times and that's it. Overall, it was an excellent speech. It was very strong and it was also fun to watch. Yes. And speaker seven, Purona. So you used zero filler words. However, you used the crutch word and a lot, which I'm assuming you're trying to connect your sentences more. However, I think that it's perfectly fine if you just let your, if you just cut off your sentences, as long as you didn't give either too much of a pause or too little of a pause in between. And you also repeated a phrase or a sentence once. Now, speaker eight, Janet. So you use no, no filler words. However, you use the crutch word like multiple times. And while some of it was excusable because it was in context, I think that you shouldn't use like at the end or beginning of your sentences so much because it kind of conveys that you're uncertain or you don't, you're not sure on what word to say next. You repeated a sentence or phrase twice. And for speaker nine, Mr. Purwanto Liam, you used filler words twice and you used crutch words three times of varying nature. Now, normally I wouldn't 
classify this as crutch words, but I was actually told to just list down everything that could be removed to streamline the speech. So yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> and you repeated a phrase or a sentence two times. However, overall, I think your speech was also excellent and covered your and answered your question very well. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Griselda. Very detailed. Now we move to our grammarian, Toastmaster Benjamin Whitaker. All right. Thank you so much. And for all the speakers, uh, all the table topics, well done and great effort and good job. One thing uh, I mentioned, that the word of the day, and even if it uh, reminded you the word was inspired, and her reminding the group that the word, the, the word of the day was inspire, she was the only one to use it. Could have used, like, leaders are supposed to inspire the people. Something as easy as that. Um, but I'm going to go down with each speaker. Uh, Mr. Akuin, you had a phrase where you said, they are angry with each other. Um, you want to use it as if they are angry at each other. Typically, with and at can be interchangeable, but you use the word uh, with when we're referring to a person or people, and then angry at a situation, right? So I'm angry at the weather. Uh, it's raining. I can't go out. Or I'm angry with my friends because they didn't come out and hang out with me. So try to make sure you, you're aware of the with. Uh, with or at. With is with people, at is at a situation. Uh, overall, well done. Uh, you, all, you also had a quote where, if there's a problem, there is a way, and you were phrased, referring to there's a way to solve it. So I like that as well. So good job, uh, Ms. Harlina. Um, as a psychology person myself, uh, I learned a lot about nature versus nurture. So when you brought it up, uh, it kind of sparked a lot of uh, uh, good memories and for those of you that don't really understand the nature versus nurture is when people look at human behavior and it comes from your environment would be uh nature right the things around you is the way you are or the prenatal area where this nurture which is like you just get your genes and if your parents are jerks then you're going to be a jerk and so on and so forth uh so well done bringing that concept up that's a good thought uh Bumin, um you brought up uh, very good quotes. Learn how to learn. Again, going back to my university days, uh, I had to reteach myself how to learn. And anytime I hear something to that kind of quote, it brings out a stressful time in my life and also a very useful time. Um, you also mentioned Steve Jobs' quote, stay hungry, stay foolish. So well done bringing those quotes, uh, bringing those quotes up. Uh, Kaylee, you mentioned um, comments, you had a phrase where you said comments on the people. You want to use comments, uh, you said comments of the people. This is a preposition, right? So comments on the people, uh, and then I can't remember the last part of you said, but you want to make sure you're using that preposition on within your sentence there. Kevin, you had a, a phrase, all leaders started being a follower. You want to take out the, you want to rephrase that. All leaders start by being a follower. So again, you said all leaders started being a followers. You want to rephrase it to all leaders start by being a follower. So well done there. Uh, Rudy, you said everyone knows, uh, the thing is here is, is a plural, right? Uh, you said everyone know. Everyone know, everyone know. You, you, this, I hear this a lot in my four years of being in Indonesia is, is the, the ending of the plurals. You gotta, some people use plurals and they don't. So it's, everyone knows this, knows, gonna have that, that S at the end of knows. Um, so you also had, as a follower, we, this is a good quote, but I wanna rephrase it. Like, as a follower, we learn uh, by, you said, as a follower, we learn as the, as the leaders do, you could rephrase it to as a follower, we learn by watching leaders or watching our leaders. But it's still a good concept, just kind of rephrase it there. Uh, Verona, you had uh, 
uh, you said a phrase, the biggest mistakes a leader can make. You said uh, the biggest mistakes a leader makes. And this is a subject verb agreement. If your subject is singular, your verb has to be plural, right? So a leader being a singular, that you have to make the verb makes uh, with an S at the end. If you have the biggest mistakes leaders make, where the subject is plural, you can make the verb singular. So that's just a little small error there. Uh, Janet, you had really just good advice. I didn't really hear anything that really was a mistake or uh, anything that kind of popped out. Just over your overall advice on how to deal with uh, situations of people talking bad about you at work is, is something you can that's you could use all of it. So well done. And um, I want to, you mentioned, can't find any of that movie, right? When they talked about what's a movie you could use, you could rephrase that by saying, I can't think of a particular movie. Um, I don't have one off the top of my head. So uh, it's the way we, that the phrasing could be a little bit better. And also the, it's just the, the, the words can be a little better as well. But again, Every time I, I'm a grammarian um, that we've done this during Zoom, I've really enjoyed it because I've been able to kind of go and use the internet and look up these particular grammar rules. So again, I thank all of you guys uh, for your effort. And again, thank you Empire Toastmasters Club for allowing me to be uh, your grammarian. And back to you, G. Thank you, Toastmaster Benjamin Whitaker. Now it's time for me to evaluate all the session here before we hear DTM Arif Azahari to give a speech. Okay, wait, let me pin the timer. Okay, first of all, for the table topic participant, AQ. Great eye contact. I love your hand gestures and well done as the first role in table topic session. But please, Max, you can uh, notice on the timer. Okay, it's really awesome speech. And then the second is Toastmaster Harlina from Jakarta Bahasa. Hi, welcome Toastmaster Harlina. Two thumbs up. And what a lovely speech. Uh, but you may work on your filler words. I noticed that you said um, um, a couple times in the opening speech, but it's well done. And the third table topic speaker, Bu Min Sunari. Too bad that I cannot see your appearance because you, what is like, uh, turn off the camera. But it was a remarkable speech. I like that you mentioned another quotes from Steve Jobs and you can relate it to your personal experience. And then for Kaylee Wijaya, hi Kaylee. It was a lovely performance, very brave. I can see how confident you are, but I suggest that you can open your mouth a little bit when you speak so you can speak clearer, right? And then for Kevin Budiono, Kevin, I appreciate your willingness as a new member in Empire. You are very active. I was impressed that you always challenge yourself in table topic session but for a suggestion for your improvement make sure that you have an eye contact with the camera since it's an online meeting i noticed that you saw something up on you <laughs> when you speak so yeah make sure you look on the camera and then for DTM Rudy, Pak Rudy, uh, marvelous Pak Rudy. I like how you give us a lot of special message. You are a great example for us since you're a DTM. And for Burona, Burona, wonderful. I love how you uh, make it, you, you were standing in front of the camera and you make it like we're in a real meeting not on the online meeting. And I like how you use your hand gestures. It strengthens your message. So yeah, fantastic work for you, Burona. And then for Janet, it was 
a tricky question on the table topic, but you always nail it. So keep it up. And last but not least for our AD Purwanto, great answer. Even though you had no idea about the movie, but you can make it awesome answer. So yeah, amazing effort for you, AD Purwanto. And overall, as the general evaluator, I'm proud of my team, my tag team, the table topic masters, DTM Pipit. Excellent question. You also remind us about the word of the day and all the questions related with the team. And also I like how you mentioned one of my favorite um, TV series, Game of Thrones. Well done, my lady. And then for a counter, a counter, Griselda, very detailed. You're not only give us the filler words, notes, but also repeated words and scrolls words. And you even give them a personal suggestion. So well done, Griselda. And for our grammarian, Toastmaster Benjamin, you're sharp. I like how you deliver your grammar notes to each of the participants and you also encourage us. So stunning. And overall, I also respect for each of you that come on time. So high five for those of you 30 minutes before the meeting. I heard that you have a conversation. Good job. And thank you also for the timer, Lita, that greet us one by one on the chat box. And our SAA, Denis Surya, who also helped me before the meeting and teach me to use the, what is the, I don't know? Google form. Yeah, the Google form. Thank you. Thank you, Master. <laughs> And for all, I suggest for the next meeting, if you want to participate in the table topic session, make sure you can message directly to the table topic master, not only on the chat box, because I'm afraid that the table topic master focus on the, on the speaker view, not seeing the chat box. So yeah, first time maybe you can chat him or her, or maybe you can unmute yourself like you can say, I'm in, I'm in, or I want it, I want it like that. So not only in the chat box, because I see many of you want to participate, but maybe the table topic master didn't see the chat box. Overall, once again, thank you for those of you who joined the session in Empire Toastmasters. Don't forget to follow our Instagram and Empire Toastmasters Club. Bye bye. Back to Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmasters Marina and her team. What a comprehensive evaluation. I believe we all have learned something from the AH counter, from the grammarian, and from the overall feedback. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, it's the time that we are waiting for. We have our guest speaker here. Actually, now we should have a break, but because we are behind schedule for 10 minutes, so I would like to ask all of you, do you still want to have a three or five minutes break, or can we proceed straight away to the education session? You can unmute yourself. We can proceed. Proceed, proceed. indeed. Proceed? Yes. If there is no, no problem. Problem, I would like to proceed directly to 